bookworms! Today I'm going to be doing my April book haul. As always, I'm like, maybe next month I'll have less books, and then I don't, so you know the deal. Here we are. So I'm going to start, as I always do, with the new releases from April that I picked up and then move along into the backlist books. I also have um, a little unboxing, like, promotional thing to show you, and I also have some manga toward the end of the video, so stay tuned. The first book that I picked up this month is Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. Um, this is a book that I had an arc of and I read and I loved it and it's a You've Got Mail retelling and it is so cute and so well written and I really loved it so obviously I needed a finished copy of it. Then I also picked up the book that I am currently reading, which is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This book is so good. It's a Cinderella retelling and it's a contemporary story that follows a girl that is like completely invested in this fandom called Starfield. Um, it's very akin to Star Trek. It's a TV show that ran for a little while and um, they're rebooting it into a film series. And there is like a very popular actor that gets cast in the main role, but people are not convinced that like he's gonna be able to pull it off because he's an actor that was on a soap opera and he has like a cult following of like fans that are in love with him but like fans of Starfield are not convinced that he's like a true enough fan of their show in order to like do it justice um, and it's just so cute because the main girl Elle she runs this blog called Rebel Gunner I think she writes this article like as soon as the casting news comes out about how she like does not think that this guy is gonna do a good job in the role um, so then naturally her and him end up starting to talk and they kind of like each other um, and then there's this whole thing happening with ExcelsiCon which is an event it's like a whole convention that is just like for fans of Starfield and it's announced that there's going to be a cosplay contest um, and the actor that got cast in it is going to be one of the judges in it and whoever wins the cosplay contest is able to meet him and um, go to like the masquerade ball so you can see the Cinderella parallels um, and Elle actually also works at a vegan food truck called the Magic Pumpkin um, and I just love everything about it so far this book is making me like so happy because it just is completely like capturing my feelings about Star Wars. <laughs> it's I, as someone who has been invested in like many fandoms throughout my life I just feel like it perfectly like it just like gets it like it just gets what it's like to be a fan um so I really love it and I'm talking about this too much because I'm going to talk about it in my wrap-up obviously but I just I just really love it um and then also it's a really beautiful book so obviously the cover gorgeous but then if you take it off it has the Starfield uh, emblem up there and then if you open it like even the end papers are gorgeous um, and I love that it has like the convention center plan um, and then the next set of end papers are also gorgeous. Um, I just really love like everything about this book. I have been looking forward to reading this like every chance that I get. Then I have The Upside of Unrequited, which was actually in my Owl Crate box for the month. This is also our book club pick for the month, and I have been anticipating this one for so long. Um, so I'm really, really happy to finally have this in my hand. I feel like April was like the month where new releases that I was really looking forward to started coming out, and now May is going to be like jam-packed with so many more things that I'm even more excited for. So I've been trying to like read everything this month that's new that I wanted to read because I know I have a ton to read in May. <laughs> then I got Fireworks by Katie Katugno. Um, I've talked about Katie Katugno like a lot on my channel, but she is one of my like top three favorite contemporary authors. I just love her books so much. Um, and Fireworks was no exception. I read it already, but it follows two girls who are best friends. Um, they both end up being chosen to uh, be part of this band called Daisy Chain and it takes place in Orlando in the 1990s so it just made me feel very nostalgic for like the NSYNC and Backstreet Boys days and like just made me like feel like I was reliving my childhood at certain moments. As always it's like a messy and complicated book and it really explores female friendship and stuff like that so it was really really enjoyable. Um, I really loved it. The end papers on this one are really nice too. They look like an Instagram photo collage. I also got Literally by Lucy Keating. I have heard not so good things about it since I acquired it, sadly. Um, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to it, although it is very short, so I could probably read it pretty quick. Um, but it's kind of like a stranger than fiction type thing where um, it's like a girl who realizes that her life is being written by someone else and then I think it like plays with free will and 
stuff like that. I also got the UK edition of Strange of the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Um, I had originally pre-ordered the US edition and then as soon as I saw this beautiful UK edition I was like nope and I canceled that and I ordered this one so that's why I didn't have it in my last book haul um, but it has blue uh, papers which I love and like the back is gorgeous too. I just think the whole design of this is like amazing um, and I can finally read it. Next I have Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Uh, you've probably heard about this one because everybody has been watching and loving the television series but I've heard that the book is a lot better as it always is um, so I really want to read this before I watch any of the TV show um, and I heard that it's a quick read, so I'm really looking forward to it. I also picked up Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. Um, I think this is the second book that she wrote, but I read her first book that summer. I had lukewarm feelings about that one, um, but I'm not discouraged and I really do want to read the rest of her books. So a lot of people actually told me that that one is like their least favorite. I wanted to like read in order so that they'll hopefully continue like getting better as I go along. I didn't hate it. It just wasn't great. So I'm looking forward to seeing like how her writing is going to progress. Then I got Queens of Geek by Jen Wild. I've heard really good things about this one so that's what motivated me to pick this up. I think it came out actually last month in March. Um, it follows a girl who is like a really popular vlogger and she's at a convention. Sound familiar? There's so many like comic convention books coming out recently that have just made my heart like so happy uh, because there never were these books when I was younger and I love going to comic conventions so I finally feel like these are characters that I can like really relate to which is nice but it has two love stories I've heard that it has like really really good re representation um, and I'm really looking forward to reading this one I'm probably gonna read it either the beginning of May or the very end of April if I can squeeze it in. And I got The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. So The Melting Library, which is the candle shop that I love, um, she came out with five candles based on this book because she just like fell in love with it so much while she was reading it. And I loved all of the candles and all of the scents that were in them. So obviously I pre-ordered them and then I was like, huh, I guess I should probably get and read this book now. Now that I'm gonna have five candles based on it too. Um, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one although it is like so long. It's It doesn't look as long because it's paperback but it's like 800 pages so I don't know when I'm going to read it but I will read it at some point. Then I have two more Sarah Dessen books um, from Penguin Teen. They were sent to me because they're doing this campaign called Rita Dessen where um, they're having like bloggers and vloggers and whoever wants to participate read all like the whole backlist of Sarah Dustin's books leading up to the release of Once and For All which is her new book that's coming out in June that I'm like super highly anticipating because I'm really looking forward to like the wedding planning aspect of it but the ones that I'm going to be posting about on my blog which will be coming soon one of them might even potentially be this week I should check those dates are Dreamland by Sarah Dustin and What Happened to Goodbye by Sarah Dustin and you can also enter to win all of like a complete paperback set of all of her books in I think every single person's blog post but it's all like one raffle copter um, but that'll be linked on my blog so if you check it throughout the week you can enter. I almost forgot these because I got them yesterday um, but Alexa and I went to Alexa of Alexa Loves Books. Um, we met up for a book and unicorn croissant date um, and we went to Books of Wonder in New York City and um, I ended up picking up The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I have an ARC version of this book but I haven't read it yet um, but I know that I'm gonna love it because I really enjoy Nicola's writing um, and everyone has said that this one is like be way better than her first book so I was like you know what I'll just go ahead and get the finished copy because I know that I'm gonna love it and it was signed which is right there so I was like yeah I'll, I'll pick that up and then the other one that I picked up um, yesterday is Royce Rolls by Margaret Stoll this is a book that follows a girl who's on a reality show and I believe that the show is like going to get canceled and it's really impacting like her family life and then something happens and it might get renewed but I can't really remember because I've been trying to avoid like a ton of the things about the synopsis but I always find anything that talks about like being on the set of a reality show fascinating since I myself was on a reality show so I love just seeing the way that it's like depicted compared to my experience. Um, it's really like I don't know it's just a fun thing for me. And this one is actually also signed right there so 
those were the two that I got. The next thing that I'm going to show you is it's an arc of a book that's coming out in May. I believe it comes out on May 9th and there is a really cool pre-order campaign for it so I'm going to talk a little bit about that too but the book is Dead Men Walking by Sherilyn Kenyon and I hope that I'm saying that correctly but Tor sent me this book and it sounds so good because pirates. I often profess my love of pirates on here so when I heard the synopsis of this one I was like wow that really sounds like very intriguing. I'm even just gonna read like the first sentence off of the back of the book and you'll be like whoa. It says to catch evil it takes evil. Enter Devil Bane. He's an ancient dark warlord who has returned to the human realm as one of the most notorious pirates in the new world. So this guy Bane makes a pact with a guy named Thorn who is accredited with uh, creating like the most awful creatures ever that the ancient gods had released into the world but they've all been um like cooped up behind this gate but now the gate is starting to buckle and like falter so bane takes over to command a crew of dead men um in order to try to like re-secure the gates and save all of humanity and then there's also a sea witch who goes and complicates things even further. So if you pre-order this book now from Tor, you can submit your receipt. I'll leave a link down below to the website where you can submit your pre-order receipt. And if you do that, you'll also get this beautiful signed print um, that has like the cover of it on here and it's signed by the author. Um, there's only a limited number of them. So if you're interested in it, I would definitely suggest getting it soon. Um, but it's so pretty and it's gonna be a like amazing pirate story. And I feel like with the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie coming out soon, it's like the perfect time to just like absorb everything pirate related. Um, and then along with that, they also sent me this treasure chest um, to unbox on here. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. I haven't opened it yet cause I didn't wanna like spoil the surprise for myself. There we go. <laughs> um, so open it. Ooh, it's like a scarf. Skulls. Oh, cool. Um, so inside here, there's like all of this like fake gold. Um, and then I see a skeleton head. Um, there's like gold necklaces. This is so fun. It's just like treasure that you would find in treasure chests. Ooh, and there's like gems. Um, lots of gems, lots of coins, lots of gems, lots of coins. Um, I kind of just want to like grab my smoke, my smog Funko and just like stick him with all of the gold coins. There is a skeleton keychain, an eye patch because pirates. Ooh, another skeleton keychain. And what is this? Oh, and there's like trading cards. Oh, so they're trading cards for all of the Oh, oh my gosh. And there's a signed book plate. That's like really nice. This is a really cool thing. Um, there's trading cards for each of the characters in the book. That's Bane, who I was talking about, who takes over the um, crew of dead men. I like her look. Her name is Valinda. Cool. And there's something else, but I don't know what it is. Oh, cool. There's little enamel pins too. Skull and crossbones. There's skull and crossbones button. Sticker and a lanyard cool um and then this is the pirate scarf that came on it um i will actually maybe i'll take a photo of all of this stuff so that you can see it like a little bit closer up then I have a couple of arcs to show you and then the manga. So the first one that I got is Perfect 10 by Elle Phillips. This is a book that I was very highly anticipating. It follows a guy named Sam. He uh, recently broke up with the only other eligible gay guy at his high school. So he's been in kind of like a love drought and one of his friends convinces him to cast a love spell. So he does it and then all of a sudden he has three guys who are like very interested in him. Part of the love spell is I think he like writes out a list of like the 10 things that he's looking for in his perfect uh, mate. But then once these three guys are all like competing for his attention and like all really want to date him, um, he has to really think about like if that perfect person actually exists and I guess potentially pick one of his suitors. Then I have Hello Sunshine by Layla Howland. This is one of the books that I talked about in my most anticipated contemporary releases of 2017. Um, Layla Howland wrote the Nantucket Blue and Nantucket Red books, and I love those. So I'm really looking forward to her next YA book. Um, this follows a girl who wants to be an actress. I believe she moves to LA um, to try to see if she can like make anything happen for herself, but um, she's not really getting any jobs or anything. So then her and her neighbors start deciding to like 
make, I guess, kind of something similar to like a YouTube series. They start posting these videos online and then those start like gaining acclaim. Um, and it's really just about her realizing that there's like more than one right way to do things. And I'm really looking forward to reading this. Then this is an arc that I also acquired yesterday. Thank you to Alexa of Alexa Loves Books. And that is I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu. This was also one of my most anticipated books of the year. It follows a girl named Desi who is like your perfect student. Like she's really good at everything that she does, but she is just completely clueless when it comes to love. So she really enjoys watching K-dramas um, and she decides to take all of the advice that she learns from K-dramas and apply them to her own life in order to try to like find a boyfriend. And it just sounds like it's going to be so funny. I just cannot wait to read this. Um, and then I also got No Good Deed. This was sent to me by Big Honcho Media for an Instagram campaign. It's by the same author who wrote Kill the Boy Band, which actually they also sent to me, so I have both of the books here. But this one follows a group of activists and um, they're all like, I think they're all teen activists and they come together for this cause um, and it really like gets you to question how Bar you will go to promote what it is that you believe in. Um, so it sounds like things start going a little bit wrong and people start doing some like really extreme things that not everyone is on board with. Um, it sounds like it's gonna be really cool and I also just love like all the neon colors. <laughs> And now for the manga. Um, I got the fourth volume of Princess Jellyfish, which I'm so excited to read. I read the third volume last month, so now I'm all caught up and I'm ready to read this one. And I also got the final volumes of Fruits Baskets, volume 11 and volume 12. Um, and now I have so many of these to read and I can finally be completely done with this series. Again, as the other ones, they have beautiful spines and this whole collection just looks like really beautiful together. I think that they did a really good job re-releasing these. And then one of the most exciting um, like re-release collector's edition box set manga things that I've ever seen is this this incredibly heavy revolutionary girl Utina um, box set. So it is like hurting my arm to hold this up because that's how heavy it is. Um, they're both like gorgeous hardcover editions and so this is the cover of the first volume. It's so pink and beautiful. And the back is just roses and I love it. Um, and then this is the second volume, which is also beautiful, but purple and then purple roses on the back. Um, I think it's, oh, it's just so gorgeous. It kept getting pushed back and I have been hearing about this series like for so long. Um, there was a podcast that I listened to where they just talked about it nonstop. And I was like, I need this in my life. But, um, when I saw that they were re-releasing it, I was like, this is like the perfect time to order it. Um, and it also came with this really pretty, this kind of NSFW poster of, of Utina. And I also have Giant Days Volume 4, which is written by John Allison and illustrated by Max Sarin. Um, this is just a really fun, like, slice of life comic series that follows a couple of girls who are roommates together in college. Um, and it's super cute, so I need it. So that's all that I have for this video. There were so many books in here. Let me know if you've read any of these or if there's any of them that you think that I should like move to the top of my TBR pile. Um, and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye.